guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can keep your reptiles warm this winter. Um, for me, I live in an apartment, so it can be a little bit difficult, and there are changes that I do have to make in the reptile room. So hopefully this will help people out who have similar struggles during the winter time because we really need to keep our reptiles warm. Um, sometimes the heat lamps or the heat pads just aren't enough, especially at nighttime. So I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks today. So I live in an apartment that's a really, really old building and I keep my reptiles in a room that's basically like a little like side room or closet. I'm not really sure what this room is supposed to be. All I know is I turned it into a reptile room. And I do know that there is quite a draft that comes in from the windows. And I can also feel like from the floors, it gets really, really cold, especially when it's winter time in here. So the only thing that I've been able to do aside from bumping up the heat is by also adding a space heater into the reptile room. So space heaters are great for increasing the ambient temperature within the entire room. It's something that I think is great for reptiles because a lot of the time people message me with crested geckos or gargoyle geckos and obviously those animals don't require heat. So when it gets too chilly, you need to supplement somehow and they aren't really sure how to do it. So a lot of people want to add heat bulbs for their crested geckos. And that's not something that I would recommend doing because it can be too much for your crested gecko. You don't want to stress them out or overheat them because they can overheat very easily. So for a situation like that, I would always recommend to just increase the ambient temperature of the entire room. And you can do that with a space heater. So a lot of people ask me what type of space heater to use, and I don't really know much about space heaters. I think that especially if you aren't gonna be home all day monitoring it to make sure that there's no fire hazard or anything, then you should get one that is hooked up to a thermostat somehow, or you can regulate it on your space heater as well and make sure that it stays at a certain temperature and it doesn't exceed that temperature to make sure that it's safe for all of your animals. So I'm not a space heater expert here. I don't really know how they work. I'm always home so I monitor my own by just being home with my animals and checking up on things so that's how I make it work so if you aren't home all the time I would really make sure that you're looking for one that will be safe for your animals especially if you're going to be leaving your house and leaving the space heater on to increase that temperature a lot of the time I actually won't have to use it during the day and I will have to use the space heater at nighttime when I'm sleeping because that's when it tends to get really, really chilly in the reptile room. So that's something I would recommend doing if you notice a very, very dramatic drop in the temperature at nighttime in your house because you need to always make sure that you're not only reaching those hot spots for your animals, but you're also not going below what they can't handle either because you don't want to freeze your animals to death. Um, even if you're just going a little bit under for too long, you can make your animals sick. So it's something you should always be keeping an eye on, especially in the winter time because those drops do happen. Another thing that people always try with crested geckos is to add a heating pad onto the side of their tanks. That's another thing I wouldn't recommend, even if you are using a thermostat because I think that it can really increase too much. If you're your crusty gecko is just like laying on that area where the heating pad is, they can easily overheat. So that's just something I would never try, especially for an animal like that. You should just always increase the ambient temperature. And I've completely lost Bowie, who is on the floor now. Something else that I actually may have to do because there is such a draft that comes in and for Bowie here, my Brazilian rainbow boa, she is so picky and she always just wants to be on the cold side of the enclosure. She, she doesn't like using the hot side at all. She has a nice hot hide and what I actually do is I have to remove her cool hide in the winter time and take that option away from her to make her go into the warm hide because otherwise she may end up getting sick, especially with that draft. So something else that you may want to try because even though her temperature is perfectly fine on the hot side of her enclosure, the cool side of her enclosure gets way too cold because of the cold window over there. So not only by increasing the ambient temperature, it may not be enough. So I may actually have to get another heating pad and put it on her cool side and regulate it at a cooler temperature that's still warm enough for her to, just to make sure it doesn't get too cold for her either because that's something that I've had an issue with. But I get really nervous with her because her enclosure backs up right next to the window over there and it gets really chilly. So I may just have to put the heat pad over on that side or add another heat pad to the enclosure as well as using the space heater in the room to make sure that she's getting the adequate temperature 
temperatures and she's not going below too far because I don't want her to get sick. So those are just some of the tips and tricks that I have that I'm going to be using for my own animals in the reptile room. Um, a lot of you guys message me and you have cooler rooms in your house and that happens to be where your reptiles are and of course you need to be monitoring it. So hopefully these tips can help you guys out and keep your animals nice, safe, and warm this winter. Um, it is difficult to deal with. It's not my favorite time of the year, that is for sure. But again, these are our animals. We need to make sure that they're getting the proper temperatures. For those of you that aren't really sure about the temperature and you're only checking the thermostat, I would highly recommend to get a temp gun. Um, you can get them on Amazon for really cheap. And just by using that, you'll be able to tell the exact temperatures throughout the entire enclosure for your animal. That's something that's so important because you do need to make sure not only that the heating pad is at a proper temperature, but also that the cool side doesn't get too cold either because they need the proper temperatures throughout the entire enclosure. And sometimes that gets neglected and people are only checking the hot spot. So hopefully this is helpful. I don't know if I have any other tips and tricks because this is just what I've been doing so far for my animals. So if any of you guys have anything else to add, tips and tricks to keeping your reptiles nice and warm this winter, especially if there's a significant drop in your reptile room, please go ahead and leave it in a comment and help everyone out. I really appreciate when you guys leave your input because it always is very helpful and you guys always think of things that I don't. So I really appreciate when you guys leave the comments helping everyone out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. You want to say bye, Bowie? You're just a blurry little face, but that's okay. <laughs>